Hey, what's up, Jam Squad? Jam here, and welcome back to another video. Sorry if it's really loud. <laughs> I'm just really excited because I haven't recorded in like a week, and I am really sorry about that, you guys. I've just been really busy with work and a lot of other stuff. School, the quarter just finished. Uh, we're onto a new car, on, onto a new quarter. So, getting all that situated. Um, but today I wanted to start up another new series. I know I've been starting up a lot of new series lately, but I've only got two series actually active right now. And that's Javacraft, um, History Time, which I haven't recorded in a while, which I'm going to be recording right after this. And I also, that's it actually. I mean, unless you count my other side series, which is like random games, mini games and all that stuff. But I haven't done that stuff in a while. Um, so I decided to start a new series. Maybe some of you guys will recognize it. Um, it's not really a new series per se, but it's new on this channel. I am going to bring weekdays in the newsroom from the weekdays in the newsroom channel um, over to this channel. Uh, the main reason I'm doing that, some of you guys might ask, is because weekdays in the newsroom, I've only got like three videos up on that channel, and I haven't actually done anything with it since, so instead I'm going to forget about that channel, um, probably going to get rid of it at some point in time, but, um... I'm going to bring weekdays in the newsroom over here, so that way you guys can get more into the stories and what's going on. So, in this, I will be covering at the most three topics, and they will all be differed, um, most of the time at least. Uh, in this one, I'm going to be co uh, covering sports, current events, and um, some other, like, stuff. And, like, weather patterns or whatever the fuck I want. Um, but, yeah, today in this video... I'm going to be covering sports-related, current events, and weather. So, without further ado, let's get started. Now, uh, first of all, for the current events, um, some of you guys may not, this is going to be about presidential stuff, um, Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton are right now leading in both the parties, Democratic and Republican, um, and, sorry, i got to move my mic a little bit. And, um, me personally, some of you guys may be pissed off about it, but me personally, I am a Bernie Sanders supporter. Um, I voted for him, and I hope he gets it. Um, but I'm not here to talk about my political views. I'm here to talk about everything that's been going on. Um, now, as of late, Donald Trump's been winning and winning states. That's nothing new. Everybody knows about that. Um, but over on the Democratic side, Bernie Sanders has been, has won the last, has pretty much swept Hillary in the past few states. Um, and it's amazing. Uh, the thing is, though, he's won the last, like, six out of seven states, but he's still hundreds of delegates behind Clinton. And a part of it is because of the superdelegates. If you guys don't know what a superdelegate is, it's, um, like, when they win a state, they get delegates from that state and that's permanent they go with ever they go with that candidate but super delegates have the choice to pick whoever they want to support and whoever has the more delegates and super delegates wins the democratic race and clinton right now has a massive amount of super delegates to where sanders only has a certain few and uh we, nobody nobody wants Hillary in office. I mean, come on. Have we heard about everyone's heard about Benghazi? Everyone's heard about the emails with her and Bill between her and Bill Clinton and all that stuff. I mean, Hillary Clinton is a bad person. Uh she doesn't and worst of all, she says it's her turn to be president. You don't get a turn to be president. Let me make that let me keep that in mind. You don't get a turn to be president. Um and I just realized it's going to quickly turn into a rant instead of the news, which is fine because that's kind of what this series is going to be about, is me saying the news and then giving my opinion on them. Um, but anyways, yeah, you don't get a turn to be president. Um, you win the people's vote, and then they decide who gets to be president, or so they think. What actually happens is that, yes, we in a way decide who gets to be president, Um the, because superdelegates go on the side of whoever's the more popular vote. And right now it's Hillary Clinton, unfortunately. But I don't. I just don't see why people can't grasp the concept of the fact she does not deserve to be president. 
Because first of all, like I said, she thinks it's you get to take turns on who gets to be president. That that that's not how it works, Hillary. I'm sorry, but it's not. And second of all, she guarant like I said, we've all heard about the Benghazi incident where Clinton told Navy SEALs to stand it down after being overrun by terror after being invaded by terror by the terrorist group Al Qaeda. And she, they were told to stand down. They called for reinforcements, and none of them showed up. And like I said, that's when Hillary Clinton told them to stand down. And people, and not soon after that, like actually very soon after that, the members of Al Qaeda that were invading Benghazi took Navy SEALs and executed them on a live feed that was being watched. That was being watched by the White House. Like, I'm surprised she even made Secretary of Defense. That's how, oh my god, I can't grasp that concept. And then, next we've got, next against her, we've got Bernie Sanders, um, who is a socialist Democrat. Um, but the thing I like about Bernie Sanders is that he originally started off as an independent, but independents don't get anywhere in the um, presidential race. So he switched over to Democrat, thinking he'd have a better chance. And he clearly does. He has won so many more states after all this information about Hillary Clinton has come along. And then you got Donald Trump, who is more than likely going to destroy the Republican Party. The only competition he even slightly has is Ted Cruz. And even Ted Cruz isn't doing that good of a job of beating him. So, And I don't like Ted Cruz either. I'm, I'm an independent, but there's no independents running, so right now I'm siding with Democrat. Sorry. But, um, yeah, so you got Donald Trump who is, I guess, wants to start a war with Mexico because he wants to have Mexico pay for the goddamn 100-foot wall he wants to build and keep – like, I don't know if he knows this, but the Mex – the elite – like – the rate of illegal immigrants from Mexico is a lot smaller than the immigration from Syria, the immigration from just like the the Arabic uh, Im immigration rates are higher than Mexican immigration rates. And I'm not trying to be racist. I'm not a racist person. I'm just stating the facts that the Arabic illegal immigration rate is higher than the Mexican illegal immigration rate. And I don't think he grasps that concept. I mean, if I was to build a wall on the Mexican border, then I wouldn't force another country to pay for it. I mean, I wouldn't build a wall on, my, on the Mexican border regardless, but I wouldn't force Mexico to pay for it if I was going to. Um, because the only thing that they've done wrong to us is bring drugs into to over our country, which is why I think that we should just put more border patrol on the tr on the border instead of building a 100 foot wall and forcing them to pay for it. I mean, I know it's going to be complicated to put more border patrol on the wall. I mean, on the border, but I mean, come on. <clears throat> Anyways, that's it for the current events presidential. Next up, we have the weather. As many of you guys know, I live in Michigan, um, and Michigan has not been known for its current weather patterns. Um, it, it never stay the weather parent patterns never stay the same in Michigan. They don't. I mean, think about it. You've got, um, it's okay. So, it fucking snowed like it was snowing its ass off in November, right? Then came December and January. Fucking no snow whatsoever. Like, what the fuck's up with that, Michigan? And then February comes along. Okay, we got a little bit of snow. Then March comes along, and Michigan's like, hey, we're gonna make it springtime now, but it's gonna be cold as fuck. And then uh, April comes around, and Michigan... Is just like, yo, I heard you guys like spring. Shame. Like, it's fucking snowing outside right now. Like, I'm looking out my window right next to me, and it's fucking snowing. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's spring. It's not supposed to snow. <clears throat> Get your shit straight, okay? <clears throat> Michigan. <clears throat> but whatever. I love it here. 
I love Michigan. I wouldn't. I mean, yeah, I wouldn't want to live anywhere else, you know, besides Canada. But I, that's because I love Canada. Canada's fucking awesome. But anyways, um, I mean, well, New Hampshire would be pretty nice to live, I guess. Maine, be pretty cool. Yeah, I think that'd be pretty cool. Anyways, <laughs> um, that's it. With actually, let me see what the temperature is right now. Keep in mind, it's springtime. Um. It is 39 degrees right now. It is, I mean, it's 10.30 in the morning, but it is 30 degrees right now, and it's springtime, 10.30 in the morning, Michigan. Got to love it. Uh, but yeah, wouldn't want to live anywhere else. Um, and next, on to sports, which is probably the biggest story that I'm going to, that, I told, that I've told today. Like I said, I live in Michigan, and Michigan's sports teams are Detroit Lions, Detroit Red Wings, Detroit Pistons, and the Detroit Tigers. If you guys don't know, Tigers are basketball, Lions, I mean, Tigers are baseball, Lions are football, Pistons are basketball, and the Red Wings are hockey. And um, uh, first of all, opening day started for the Detroit Lions, Detroit Lions, God damn it, the Detroit Tigers. Um, and I think we won. I'm not entirely sure. I didn't watch it. Um, I mean, I watched it, but I can't remember because that was like a week ago. Um, but whatever. Detroit Lions are playing. I mean, Detroit Tigers, Detroit Lions don't play for another like fucking four months. Uh, sorry, guys. Like I said, it's early. Um, but yeah, they, uh, they started opening day against Tampa in Tampa. Against Tampa Bay in Tampa. And it was a good game, for what I remember. Uh, like I said, I can't remember if they won or lost, so fact check me in the comments below. Next, moving on to basketball, uh, the Detroit Pistons have made the playoffs. Um, this is the first time in I don't know how long that they made the playoffs. Um, and honestly, it's fucking amazing. I mean, this is... We're practically... This is the best season the Pistons have ever had since I've been alive, as far as from what I remember, at least. I mean, I've been alive for 17 years, but and I've never, I've never been a massive basketball fan. Um. So I mean, like, I don't know. I've just never been able to get into basketball. It's never been the sport that I like. Um. Let me see this real quick. The Detroit Pistons are in eighth place, which means they are they do have a playoff spot secured. Cause it's top eight teams, I believe. So, um Yeah, I mean Pistons uh Pistons got this, I think. They should win at least. I don't know. Um yeah, Pistons made the playoffs. Detroit Lion, Detroit Tigers started. Detroit Lions started in two months. But the biggest news of today comes from the two stories in, of the Detroit Red Wings. First of all, the Detroit Red Wings managed to clinch a playoff spot. Like they, it was within their grasp, and then they lost it, and then they got it back, and they just like got their pinky finger on top of it. They got so fucking lucky. I gotta give a huge shout out to the Ottawa Senators for beating the shit out of Boston. Six to one, they lost. They Boston lost to them in Boston against Ottawa. Big shout out to all you Ottawa can, all you Ottawa Canada fans. You guys are fucking amazing. Your team's amazing. I love you guys. Thank you. Um, and even though none of the Canadian, none of the Canadian teams actually made the playoffs, you guys did help me help get my favorite team into the playoffs, which is fucking amazing. Thank you guys. And you destroyed Boston, which is even better. Um, and um, then. So, the Detroit Red Wings will play Tampa Bay, the Tampa Bay Lightning in the first round of the playoffs tonight. It is Wednesday. The playoffs start tonight. Detroit Red Wings, Tampa Bay Lightning in Tampa Bay. We got this. Let's go, Red Wings. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah. also in the news from the Detroit Red Wings, Pavel Datsuk, one of the Red Wings' most known and one of the best players that Detroit Red Wings have ever had on the team, has decided that he is going to 
stop playing. I believe he's decided he's going to stop playing in the NHL this year. Um, after the season, he think I, he says he's going to go back to Russia and play hockey there until he retires. Um, and I believe he said, and I quote, he wants to go back to his daughter and where he got his hockey roots from and make sure that, and then plant them both back into his life. Um, he wants to be with his family and I'm fine. I mean, it's going to be a big blow to the Detroit Red Wings. Um, cause I mean, They've got a lot of young people on their team, and there's not gonna, there's no one on that team that can replace what Pavel Datsuk has done in his career. Um, I mean, a lot of people talk about Hendrik Zetterberg, Dylan Larkin, um, NFSU. They're all amazing. Um, but, I mean, I guess it's just Datsuk's time. He's going to be, I think it was like going to be 30, 39 next year, 38 or 39. So, I mean, he's not young. And Nicholas Lindstrom played until 42 or 43. So, I mean, I mean, the veterans on the team aren't young. Uh, I mean, Hendrik Zetterberg, Nicholas Cronwell, Pavel Datsuk, they're all in their mid to late 30s. Like, they're not young anymore. Um, so most of them I don't see, I can't see being on the team for more than like one or two more years, unfortunately. So... Yeah, but that's going to be it today, you guys, for this first edition of Weekdays in the Newsroom slash Rant. Um, weekdays in the Rant Room, I guess. I don't know. Prob I'm probably going to name it that, I guess. I don't know. I'm just going to call it Weekdays in the Newsroom, and then you guys can post in the comments and tell me what you guys think I should call it. So, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Sorry for the lack of content. Um, hopefully, I can get more out to you guys soon. And, yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Cool Mamma Jamma, and I will see you guys later. Stay cool, Jammas. See ya.